Last night, the president spouted more malice and misinformation, appealing to fear instead of facts. The reality is that the president could end the Trump shutdown and reopen government today, and he should. Instead, he is holding the American people hostage to his ineffective, expensive wall and withholding paychecks for hardworking Americans, the working people of our country. Later today, congressional Democrats will go to the White House. We'll have given the president a Republican pass forward. We have said to them, we are willing to accept what the Senate Republicans have passed overwhelmingly in the Senate. We'll take your path forward. Take yes for an answer. Instead, he has chosen a wall over workers. The president needs to end his senseless sh uh, shutdown and reopen the government. 92 to 6, so a vast majority of Republicans vote. The people behind me represent the real human collateral damage of President Trump's temper tantrum. For our Republican friends to join us in opening. These are the people this is all about. These are people, they could, it could be a Monday, cloudy Monday morning, rainy. They have a hundred fever, but they go to work because they believe in what they are doing. They know how important it is to the American people. And to use them as hostages through a temper tantrum by the president is just so wrong, so unfair, so mean-spirited. It ought to end, and it ought to end now. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of federal workers are furloughed. Hundred thousands more are working without pay. In a short time, they're going to miss their first paycheck. And when you multiply those federal workers by their family members, the people they love and care about and who rely on their steady paycheck to survive, you get a better sense of the pain that the president is causing with his shutdown. So the president needs to come to his senses and end this shutdown now. I don't think he persuaded a soul with his talk last night. It was same old, same old, mistruths, divisiveness, didn't have the effect he had hoped. Speaker Pelosi and I are ready to pass legislation already approved by Senate Republicans to reopen the government. And while we continue the debate on border security, we all want border security. There are different views on how to get there. But to hold these people hostage, instead of just letting them do their jobs, which they want to do while we work out our differences, so wrong. Federal employees are absolutely... We oppose being held hostage. We oppose being collateral damage. We oppose the use of extortion instead of reasoned debate. We oppose politicians who think so little of us, our work, and the institutions of government that they think nothing of bringing whole government departments to their knees.